What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than after kill, and I'm back here on Destiny live in the tower, and it's Friday. And we all know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel, right? <laughs> That's right. It's time for another visit from Sure, the agent of the nine, and uh, we're we're over here in the tower hanging out with uh, Eris because I wanted to watch her rub her ball for a second, but uh. This guy over here, he uh, he recognized me when I was doing my, my running of the jure. That, that's what I call what happens when you log into the tower at reset. You'll, you'll see just a ton of guardians just all spawning in out in that terrace area. And they just all run all over the place. And we all have a good time looking for sure. People come and they wave and they dance. They have a good time. But uh, that's the first time that I had somebody come up to me while I was actually doing my intro. And... Uh, Say hello, so, uh, hello. <laughs> but, it is now week motherfucking 30 for old dick face, and, you know, I, I gotta hand it to Bungie. Not only has Jure had some pretty decent inventories lately, but he's still kind of relevant for all the, oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> he's still kind of relevant for uh, the newer players out there and some of the older players that are still waiting to see if he's going to bring that old G-Horde back around. So let's go ahead and see what old dick face is going to do while I get uh, T-Bag danced upon with these motherfuckers. That's a, that's a creepy looking guardian right there. <laughs> let's go ahead and see what your has. All right. <laughs> we have... All right, all right, so before we get into the actual gear, these are telemetries. These will allow you to level up your weapons just a little bit faster, and if you use these in conjunction with equipping the gear that you want to level up while turning in your bounties, also, Eris Morn bounties XP do count for leveling up weapons, so those of you guys are like, what's the point of Eris Morn after level 4? Well, there you go. You get extra bounties per day to level up your shit and get some extra XP. So these actually work pretty decently. Uh, I turned in a full set of bounties the other day while using a telemetry. And I got about like three bubbles on a fresh purple uh, legendary weapon. So can't really go wrong with some of that. Also, these are plasma drives. These are upgrades for blue rarity sparrows. That will turn them into a legendary rarity sparrow. And it'll be just a little bit different, giving a different contrail color behind you. And I, I still haven't bought my contrail yet. And I, I, I said last week that it was going to be... It's the same thing with my fucking washer and dryer. My dryer broke like a year ago. And I, I still haven't replaced it because... It's just every time, it's just, it's a fucking hassle. <laughs> just trust me, it's a hassle. When you, when you gotta go in here and you, you got all these time breakers, you're like, eh, you know what, do I really need the contrail? Yeah, I need a contrail. I wish I could upgrade one of those time breakers with a contrail. Budgie! There's an idea for you. Maybe give us some type of uh, upgrade for existing sparrows so we can at least change the colors of maybe even the skin too. That would be cool. I wouldn't mind having my tumbler being black. I, I'm kind of bored of having the same goddamn fucking sparrow as everybody I bought the goddamn Dark Below DLC. <laughs> and this is heavy ammo. One strange coin for five heavy ammo. Buy it. Used to make fun of it. This is actually a really useful mechanic inside the game. I don't want to see none of you motherfuckers out there heavy ammo glitching when you can just buy them from Jure for one one heavy one fucking strange coin gets you five heavy ammo. You might as well, man. You might as well. So, this week he is carrying the exotic engram for your boobies. He's got the exotic boobies. So, those of you guys out there that want to get some sexy exotic boobies like these, maybe you want to get the uh, the boobies of the Praxic Fire or the uh, Void Fang boobies. <laughs> There's a, uh, for, for the warlocks out there, maybe you want to get, oh, you want somebody to poop on your chest with the crust of Alpha Poopy. It's been a while since we uh, brought Deep Voice Mac out. Ooh, I've been here the entire time, Mac. Well, that 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 didn't really need a deep voice, did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> but he also has exotic shards. These will allow you to level up your exotic weaponry. But most of you guys out there already have exotic shards from going dismantling some of those exotics that you have duplicates of because you're bound to have at least one or two duplicates laying around. I mean, look at this, man. I, I got, like, pfft, these rocket launchers. Is this Galahorn? I got, like, three of these, man, just taking up space. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But speaking about the Galahorn, this is not one. <laughs> and there's you guys out there that are like, 
Oh yeah, an exotic rocket launcher. This is actually not a bad rocket launcher, but it it's not a Galahorn. And you'll also be able to find a uh, you know a legendary rocket launcher out there that will be able to handle a little bit more than this uh, dragon's breath would. I've seen uh, the Hunger of Crota. The Hunger of Crota definitely is a legendary rocket launcher that can just keep right up with this uh, Dragon's Breath. But it does have a huge blast radius, and it does fuck up a lot of enemies. And if you use the Pyromancer perk, rounds fired from this weapon leave a solar flare upon detonation, which is uh, basically the uh, Warlock's Grenade. The, psh, they throw it, it looks like a little sun with the hair coming out all over the place and sets you on fire. It is the worst hair you ever seen. It's just like, oh my god, let's walk, ow, oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> but, uh, this is actually pretty good for, uh, you know, if you want to control an area. So, say if you were playing, uh, PvP, and you were taking a control point, or you seen people taking a control point, and you're all the way away, there's nothing that you can really do over there. You can pop a couple shots with a sniper rifle, maybe. Or, you could shoot one of these dragon's breath over there, and it'll also leave that AoE, uh, solar flare behind for a few seconds to constantly damage anybody that's standing on that control point it's not a bad use for it but it also has an upgrade to where it can have three rockets in the magazine which means if you use this in conjunction with boots like this that upgrades your heavy weapon you can carry up to eight rockets which is a uh, not bad not bad especially for them uh the burn weeks so i i really want to try the dragon's breath out in a solar burn week one day I haven't really gotten around to that, and I do have one. I think it's uh quite leveled up, actually. Oh, no, this is my, this is my, uh, oh, yeah, it is leveled up. Look at that. I can just go ahead and pay for that to level up just a little bit, just get some of that old spin metal, spin metal. But for those of you guys that don't know, this is also a pretty cool Easter egg for the uh, P40 Warhawk. Those of you guys out in the uh, UK will probably know for the Kitty Hawk. You'll see the, uh, it's got the old school shark paint that you would see on those uh, planes. It's also shaped like the uh, Warhawk planes, but also, if you take a look at the site, it has the old uh, old school sight that you would see on the nose of a plane that would be out there fighting in the, uh, you know, in the air. Dog fighting. Come on, man, you guys were all kids once. We we all drew this shit while we were in first grade. On a, You drew little buildings and people running by and fucking bullets hitting people. And they're like, oh, no. Your teachers are all like, hey, I think we need to talk to the child study team. And he needs to see a therapist. And people are like, but he's just drawing. Wait, that, that didn't happen to you guys? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on. That's awkward. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you guys didn't have a fucked up childhood like mine where you drew army men on the ground getting shot by planes and teachers overreacted for no fucking reason. <laughs> so, we have the Sunbreakers. Welcome back, old friend. It has been quite a while since we've seen these warlock gauntlets. This will increase the duration of your solar grenade, which is uh, basically what I was just talking about. With the dragon's breath, but the warlock uh, conjures it from his space magic. <laughs> it also gives you increased reload speed with special weapons and melee hits replenish grenade energy. I've heard some people say that this is actually a pretty decent uh, pair of gauntlets to be using out there in uh, PvP. Especially, like I said, because you can throw the AoE grenade on a control point. And if the uh, duration of the solar grenade is last a little bit longer, people are like, Oh, look, you know, that 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 solar grenade's about to get ready to go away, right? No, no, it's not. It, it's still there with its big fiery hair, and it's going to wrap you all up and say, Ooh, I'm all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the Don't Touch My Bros. I had a guy come on my fucking video the other week. He was like, I'm tired of you calling her Don't Touch My Bro. It's not funny. I find it funny, all right? It's, it's it's a reference to the, hey, don't tease me, bro. You remember that? That shit was hilarious. The dude was all fucking out there, and there was some type of, like, a presidential, I think it was, like, a vice president coming to fucking Florida University, and he was all just talking shit about the government, and the dude just, one of the fucking security guards just came up and was like, Brrr. fucking just tease me. He was like, don't tease me, bro. <laughs> but these are probably the best pair of Hunter, uh, gear inside the game just because the defense reflex taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible and when you use that in conjunction with shadow jack you can actually be invisible for eight fucking seconds and there's really like no cooldown as soon as you come back 
you're right, ready to go. So I have 111 discipline on this. Let's take a look at what the roll is this week. Wow, 83 discipline. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you don't have it, don't touch me, bros. They're worth it just for the uh, special effect. But holy garbage. Look at the rolls this week. Well, that's not too bad. 118 on a helmet. I got, what, 124? Yeah, that's still kind of low. Man, Budgie! <laughs> Budgie! Budgie gave us a bunch of cool stuff this week, but gave us some really bad rolls on it. 83 discipline. Wow, that, that hurts, man. That's like a kick right in the goddamn fucking dick. <laughs> and then we have the glass house for you titans out there. Which, uh, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. And Blessed of Light and Weapons of Light will last a little bit longer for you. And all of your, uh, pals out there that are hijacking your bubble. But, uh, that'll just make people like you just a little bit more. And, uh, a a as a person that doesn't really like the filthy, filthy titans. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. But, uh, yeah, if, if you're rocking a glass house inside my, uh, my, my lobby... I'm pretty all right with that because that means that you are looking out for the rest of the team which are exotic here and that's that's awesome it's always a good time and these are just going to be upgrades for pre dark below dlc exotics that have not been upgraded so if you have yourself an oh look at the roll on the accolophage symbiote 127 those of you guys that bought that helmet last week and you wow that's even better than this roll i might fucking upgrade just, to, well, no, it's only three extra discipline, and I'm, I'm maxed out on discipline, right? Well, that would almost get me up there, actually, but no, we're, I'm not going to upgrade for three discipline. But those of you guys that got that poopy roll on last week's helmet, uh, come back, pick this up, do yourself a favor, 7,000 Glimmer, one Exotic Shard, and your old Aculophage Symbiote helmet, and you'll get 127 discipline. It's absolutely amazing. Then we have the Lucky Raspberry, the Crest of Alpha Poopy, the No Backup Plans, Apotheosis Veil, some more Sunbreakers with a little bit better of a rule, but not really. Actually, it's only one. <laughs> then we got the Super Good Advice, the Thunderlord, Patience in Time, Thorn, Mighty Multi Tool, and the Bad Juju. And those of you guys out there that do not have your upgraded Thorns yet, I, I recommend going this route because I, I did have the bounty for the thorn, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete, I, I dismantled my old thorn, and I was like, I'll finish my exotic bounty, I, it took me like two months to finish it, because I just ran out of steam, and once I get to the crucible parts of the, the exotic bounties, I'm just like, ah, man, I gotta, I gotta get on with the going on, <laughs> so, sure, dick phase here, actually pretty useful this week for quite a few, bit of uh, people out there, but you did bring some really bad rules on that gear. And for that, I'm going to have to say, fuck you. <laughs> oh, he was still there this entire time. Are, are you serious, this motherfucker? Where's he at? There he is. Look, they're still here. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, what's going on? We're all having a good time out here at the new monarchy. But Jur has come. And, uh... It's going to take him 48 hours to finish what he started. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. More than I have to kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Get your ass on up in here. Get yourself some gear. And if not, get yourself some heavy weapons. Ammos. You're going to need them. Everybody's going to need them. It just makes life just a little bit easier inside of the Destiny Burst. So, like I said, my name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Resting from your journey, Hunter.